Hi, Jennifer Leahy here with Why Dyslexia is Not a Dirty Word. So, this is a, a very exciting moment for me. This is Aiden Colvin. Not only is he a student, but he's also an author. Looking for heroes. He spoke at our International Dyslexia Conference here in Orlando, 2016. He's a bit of a rock star here. So, Aiden, can you tell us a little bit why you wrote this book? Well, Looking for Years is a composition of letters from famous dyslexics and the inspiration that I got from them and just living with dyslexia and learning that it's actually not a disability but simply a difference with many abilities. That's so good. So all you moms and all you kids out there, you need to hear it. It's not a disability, it's just a different way of learning. So uh, what year are you currently right now? In I'm school? in 11th grade. So he's 11th grade. So he's kind of, he's gone through some of the schools. So are you in a public school setting, a private school setting, or? I'm, I'm in a charter school, but I was at a private school for two years. For two years. And so then have you been working with like a tutor or remediation, or how is your? Um, I see a tutor three times a week. Okay, so he has some support in place, which is totally appropriate. But I wanted to tell you, Aiden reached out to, was it a hundred people yes, initially? Yes, a hundred famous dyslexics. A hundred famous dyslexics and wrote letters. And so you have to get this book. I even had the author sign it for me. And he had pictures of his actual letters. And was there one particular letter that you were very excited about? That I think there was one person you were... Um, <clears throat> well... All of the letters were great, but right. some of my favorites were actually Harvey Hubble, who's at the International Dyslexia Association. Uh, He's here. Here today. Uh, he actually Skype called me, and so he showed me around his office, and we actually got to type, talk through a video chat, which it's was so, really great. It's so cool. Is there any other highlights that you could think of? Um, I got to meet Jay Leno, and that was pretty spectacular, and just communicating with all these famous dyslexics that I didn't think were dyslexic and wouldn't respond. So it's, no. it's great that he reached out to these famous people and they took the time to respond to a kid who was reaching out and saying, listen, I have dyslexia, and then it was kind of, do you find it was inspirational? I think it was very inspirational. Um, Harvey Hubble actually said, like, dyslexics stick together, and I think I've really learned that through the project and just being here and all, there's a giant dyslexic community. There's a giant dyslexic community. <laughs> you are not alone. Aiden, I thank you for your time. Thank you. He's dealt with all these people coming up to him. He's just a, actually just a rock star right here, right now. So, Aiden, you guys have to go get the book. Amazon? Amazon. Amazon.com. You've got to get it. It's worth it. Don't be jealous. I got to <laughs> say, I got I got his famous autograph. And Aiden, that's why dyslexia, dyslexia is, is not, not a disadvantage. Or dirty word. Or dirty word. Or disadvantage. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Aiden. Thank you so much. Bye.